Look at that the emblem in the back. Like my idea of us country has really started to turn. Barbie pink, this is very beast. No, no, don't, 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 don't listen to whatever he says, okay? Like, what do you mean lug this around? You're not going backpacking. Every two days in Greece, we're moving to someone new. Yeah, so as long as it has wheels. Oh. 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 I thought I got rid of these ones. Um, I just thought I'd bring a cute pair just like, because like, you know. What the fuck? And if your eyes go like this, it's even worse. Don't do that, he, man. He's serious. I've got issues with that stuff. <laughs> no, I just burnt. I feel like I was living inside me the whole night trying to do Oh, that was just a living because it's so right now and I'm used to it. What's well, called ceremony went well. well. Yeah. Wait, 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 Good morning, everyone. I look, look at me. New hairstyle alert. So, what I always need, like every morning, is I need to be on the internet for long enough until I see something stupid that makes me angry. And then I, I'm like, okay, I'm done for a little bit. I'm on Facebook. There's a post up about um, people needing to adopt these cats, otherwise, they're going to be put down, which that's crazy that they fucking ever do that. It makes me so mad. But this place is saying, like, we need foster fosters or adoptees or oh can you donate a lady comments what exactly happens with the donations like if people are only if they only need people to foster i'm just genuinely curious like you know and people are responding back explain to it sometimes response please get informed they need to use the money for vet checks bitch please get informed the person literally asked like that's what i don't understand I hate when people say, use the term like get informed, get educated, or da, 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 when someone's literally asking because what do you think they're trying to do? Like they're trying to understand more. I've seen it before so much on the internet, like get more educated. Like when someone is literally like, swear to God, they're literally like asking a question. How do you expect us to get educated if we're not asking? Please get informed. Honey. You're the one about to do the informing. So just cut out the please get informed and fucking inform the person. It goes without saying that's being informed. I'm like entering my villain arc, I feel like. No, it's PMS week. I need to relax. If any of you guys think that I'm becoming like the most annoying person, but I feel like we're all collectively feeling like, I feel like I've seen everyone whether it's like in comment sections or fellow people online or just friends, everyone is like, there's like a shift happening where everyone is just getting so fucking sick of people's bull crap online. And I'm, but we're all like collectively, like, I feel like there was a whole minute, like over the years, 2020, 2021, 2023, where like everyone kind of like, we either like whatever we're okay with it or like we just kind of succumb to it or we believe that people have a right to be like, hot, like rude online or smart asses or all this type of annoying person. But the more I feel like people were all kind of like being like, okay, we're like you're getting done with this now. And like I put this post up saying like people are not even like people are so online that they're just becoming mean. Like people are just becoming mean. Like maybe me too, maybe I'm becoming mean, but against those people. But people are so online that at this point they don't even know they're just becoming a mean fucking person. They don't even know how to say what they want to say without being rude as fuck. And I was talking to my friend Aaron about it. I feel like I want to make a TikTok. We were saying she was saying how like no one would say half the annoying shit they say online in real life because they would be too embarrassed too because if they said it in a group, half people would be like, very calm, fucked up, or like, okay, like, do you know what I mean? Because online you're allowed to say whatever the fuck you want to, like, I saw a video about this autistic boy, I just threw a stall. The amount of comments that were saying, like, good, that fucking happened to him, this and that. If you were in a group setting, you would never say that shit because who the fuck would feel okay saying good that that happened to an autistic kid? No one would. But online, people think it's okay to do that because there's no fucking real repercussions because you're behind a fake account. Same goes for people who DM fucking nasty shit and have a go. Like, they would never do that. Or the same goes for people who comment smart ass comments. In real life, if I was standing in front of you and I was with my girlfriends or you were with your girlfriends or we were around people, would you say the same smart ass shit? Probably not. And I said, I was already there last week. And even if you did, as if I can't fucking defend myself properly. And as if I can't answer my fighting error, I'm going to answer my fighting error. As if I can't answer my fighting error in that moment. <laughs> as if I can't say, all right, fighting error starts, bad joke jokes. But, like, you know, online people have the confidence and I just hate it because you should never have the confidence to be mean. Like, just, why do people have the confidence to be mean? Why would you want to be rude? Why do you choose to get your point across in a fucking rude kind of way? 
you understand that the negativity you put out in the world comes back to you as well? Like, the more negativity you spew, the more it's going to come back at you. The more you're going to keep continue being angry or upset or whatever you are, it's just going to go on and on and on. If I saw this place, it was so gorgeous and I was like, I feel like the secret to being loved is to love other people. Very true. The secret to being interesting is to be interested. That was a couple more thoughts. It was just like this whole thing about if you want something, you got to put it out there to others, which you already should want to do despite what you get in return. Like, you shouldn't be doing that just to get in return. You should do that because it's the right thing to do because it's good to make other people feel good. But, like, unless you want to keep sitting in, um, I mean, that's actually me, not quite I me, mean, I'm here myself. But unless you want to keep feeling like that about everything, how about you try being fucking nice? How about you stop spreading negativity? How about when you get triggered by something? Instead of writing a massive comment on someone's post, a massive DM, trying to upset them, how about you go, why, why does this trigger me? What is wrong with me that's making this trigger? Because that's what I, I never, obviously I never comment hate, DM hate, never, I'll never fucking stoop that low, bitch, I'll never do something that actually If someone pisses me off, maybe I'll be talking to them, this person, oh, I don't like, this is the concentration I like, like, you know, but I'm never gonna say something to try and upset someone, because why would I want to put someone through that? But try and think to yourself, why does this person trigger me? And do I need to try and put something mean to make them feel bad about themselves, or is it that deep? Probably not. It's not a lot more things are not as deep as you think they are. Like, you think something's deep, but it's not as deep as you think it is. Because everyone is a human, and we have thousands of thoughts a day, and not every thought that you have is as deep as you think it is, and needs to go and say something mean to someone. Because one thought you have about someone that you decide to not control, and leave a mean comment about, or a DM about, when that person reads it, that's not just one thought for them reading it, that's going to affect them for God knows how long. They're going to be thinking about that for the rest of the day, upset. All it was for you was one fucking thought that you don't even think about again. How is that fair? You know what I mean? How is that fair to then cause someone else upset over one thought you had in your thousands? It's not. So this video is a massive PMS rate. It's so classic. Okay, guys. I got a salad, which took so long to get here. How do you mean an avocado salad with literally no dressing? I'm going to do that dressing myself. And a freaking half chicken. What the hell? The lemon and herb thing all over it looks a bit... Insane. I want lemon and herb. After all. Like, I'm gonna eat all of that. And this. Guys, Alex gets so mad because I always want to use his laptop to do my um, YouTube ads because my laptop's never charged because I never use it. So, like, I like to use his laptop, log into my YouTube. Alex, what's your passcode? His, his cat fuck is up. He's fucking, I can't really hear him. He's charging. You would uncharged. Yes! So you don't use my laptop again. <laughs> this kid kills me, bro. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Sorry, I didn't hardly vlog yesterday. I just like went into beast mode. I had to edit my whole vlog and I had to edit. Well, oh my God, wait, what the fuck? My earring? Okay, one of my earrings. How am I seeing the entire earring and back right now? edit my entire vlog yesterday and then upload it and then I edited Thursday's video and I wanted to get another video done that I filmed with Josh that I was good that I posted during Europe but I didn't get the chance so hopefully tonight I am getting my hair done and then I'm gonna see Molly later too to help her take photos for content but also get a video for me in Europe but yeah um I stayed in bed too long this morning just on my phone. Like, it was so dumb. I don't like when I do that because I'm bound to, like, I'm bound to see something that throws my mood off. So, guys, of course, you know they say, like, when everything's going right and your car starts acting up? That's literally with my car. Like, I love my car. I love it. But I think I need to fucking get a new one. And it's, like, such bad timing because I'm going to Europe. Obviously, I'll wait till I'm back and stuff. But... I really need to get another job. Obviously, I do content creating as a job. Like, people always ask me, but I've been doing content creating as a job for, like, two years. Um, but I want to work another job, and I want to work in a field that, like, I've always wanted to work in my whole life. So that's why I either want to, like, when I come back from Europe, I want a job in support work, so like, something with kids with disabilities or teenagers with disabilities, um, specifically, like, obviously, I'm happy to work with, like, boys and girls for kids, and then with teenagers, I want to work with teenage girls. Um... I would really, really love to do that. So I want to like really like get a fucking move on. I should have had it set up. So when I come back from Europe, I can start working straight away. But anyway, um, and then potentially I want to work somewhere cunty like next year in retail as an extra thing, like a couple days a week, just so I can have somewhere where I could dress up potentially cute. When you're a retail worker, it's like a toxic relationship with retail. Like, you know, it's fucking bad. You know, you hate it, but like also you just can't 
Like, you just miss it. Like, obviously, I went to Officeworks first. That was, like, my first thing on retail. And then I went to Lulu. And, like, I just fucking miss that. Like, getting dressed up, going to work, and helping people buy shit. Like, fuck. It was so good. Anyway, so... But I also, my whole life, my whole life, I've wanted to be a babysitter. I know that sounds like, is that really that, like a babysitter? I want to work with babies. I love babies and little kids so much. I feel like I just want to work in childcare. I feel like I would be so happy doing that. So I feel like, obviously in childcare, you need to get like a certification or whatever the fuck. We used to have like a family friend who owned a childcare center that I did work experience at. That would have been so good for me to get a job. She sold it. So... If anyone here works in childcare with babies, I'm interested in like obviously three and four year olds, yes, but also the very small babies. Let me know how you got into it, what courses you did, what it's like. I did work experience there for a week and I'm telling you that was probably the best week of my life. Like, it was the best week of my life. Bro. Why did he eat all of the schnitzels? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to eat? So I got my bunnies to collect. This isn't even the fucking... Oh, so dumb. I should have shown the before, but that just sorted out my shoes so much better. Also, I don't mind that it's at an angle and it's like size is good. You know what? That was actually a good purchase. I just have like all the boots at the front, but that made everything so much neater. Now I wanted to put these. They already come with batteries. So good. That was so iconic of me. Gorgeous. And now I'm going to make the other one and put it in Alex's room where all my shoes are because I have a lot of shoes in there. Look at Bugsy. He just sleeps on here. In Alex's bed. He loves it. So that's all my bags. Which I need to go through that, to be honest. But that's all my shoes that are in here. So I need to fucking set one of these up for sure. All right, that's much more. There's one shop there going up, but that's much more organized. All right, now for an exciting, a very, very... I got this Juicy Couture set from Juicy Couture UK. It cost me so much money to get here. It also came with a free tote bag. I do not own a baby pink Juicy Couture tracksuit set. Like, I have like a medium pink and a hot pink bottoms and no jacket. I hope getting small was an okay idea. Yeah, I feel like it was because I got a medium and something else. <gasps> Gorgeous, look at that, the back pocket, it's low rise. It cost me so much money, don't even ask. Oh my god, I'm upset, oh shit. Yeah, I'm glad I got a small, but now I'm worried because I got one from a different, from US, but I got a medium because I feel like UK stuff runs bigger and US stuff runs smaller in my experience. I love it, maybe I should have got the top in extra small, nah. Look at that, the emblem and the back. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Molly cancelled. Well, we both kind of cancelled at the same time. So, I'm actually happy because I want to sell some clothes, so. Guys, we're back at Burgatory two days later. So bad. <laughs> Guys, where are you, where are you going? Mm. Guys, look at this. Josh is like, Optimus Prime, and I freaking jumped. Okay, I put up so much stuff to sell on my Depop. And I just bought, oh, I want to put something else up too. Bought so much stuff that I need for traveling. Guys, I've just been about to fall asleep, but I've come to the realization. I'm not confirming, but you know how like the past few videos I've been saying, like in Europe, like I'm not going to post the vlogs. I'm not going to post any vlogs when I'm there. I was low-key thinking I feel like I could because... I wanted to post of each country, so Greece, Croatia, Italy, Sweden. I feel like when I finish in Greece and I get like, I don't know, a couple hours flight to Croatia, I feel like I could easily edit my Greece vlog in a few hours and like export it. I don't know about uploading. Like I did hear like from Molly that the uploading of the internet's pretty shit. So I'll post like an update on like my Instagram or TikTok or even here on YouTube whether or not I'll be able to get them up but I just feel like it might even be better if I do post them while I'm there because as if I'm going to be home and wanting to fucking upload vlogs like and I'll be getting FOMO. Oh, no, no. 
You, oh, the hair. You are beautiful. Oh, oh everything way. This is what I think. Things like, and it's not hating on anyone with any surgery or surgery kind of things, but sometimes I think like, with people, plastic surgery is so normalized that like now, anyone just gets it, right? Like, I feel like it used to be like very, very rich people like in America who are like around all these other rich people that feel like they need to do that would get it. Or it would be like, you'd hear about like mums getting a boob job or something, which I just think is iconic, like getting a boob, like boob job gifts and stuff like that because they get a boob job when they're like 30 something because they have a bit of a crisis and they get one or 40 and they get, I think that's iconic because like, you know what? You fucking had kids, your boobs might be stretched out there enough to get a boob job and slay. And you'd hear about the occasional like nose job for like girls who'd get it when they were like in their teens because they would have like just say a very very pronounced nose a very like a hook and maybe they really really want to get rid of them maybe they'd be picked on and you'd hear about kids getting their ears pinned back because they get get picked on that's what the main things you would hear about no jobs you wouldn't hear about any Tom Dick and Harry getting but now it is so normalized every person is getting one and I've started to turn like my idea of plastic surgery has really started to turn on like I used to be like yeah do whatever get whatever but like if you're going under the knife risking your life and you just didn't need to do that. It just seemed so excessive and so, like, first world. Like, did you really need to risk your life, go under the knife, have all these weeks and weeks of recovery, a year of swelling turned down? What for? Like, you were so perfect already. Like, you were so, you were perfect. Like, this is what I used to think. You know how I said in that video, like, oh, I would get a boob job. You know what? No, I would get a boob job maybe when I'm, like, in my, like, 30s after I've had kids. I, 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 okay, I think that's why, because you know what? It's the same with, like, mom's getting a tummy tuck. Like, okay. And maybe my opinion will change after I have kids, but it's like, okay, maybe I get it. But, like, as a young woman, I feel like a boob job is just so not necessary because it's, like, this is our young, youthful body. Like, this is when our body is at its, like, healthiest or its prime or, like, it's just how it's intended to be. Like, who cares if you've got small boobs? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's cute. There's something good in everything. There's something attractive about big boobs. There's something attractive about small boobs. Like, it's it's fine. Like, it's I don't think it's necessary. Especially because, like, I know we say it's for us. Like, we say boobs for us because I even agree. Like, if I had bigger boobs, like, I would, yes, I would probably feel, like, <laughs> but at the same time, if I wore a Victoria's Secret at two cups push up right every day. I would probably have the same feeling because I would feel like I look like I have big boobs. At the end of the day, when I'm sleeping at night, do I want to be like, oh my god, I'm like, do you know what I mean? Like, whatever. Anyway, and I'm not shaming anyone who's got a boob job because I know plenty of girls who's got them. So you know what? Now you've got it, like you're a fucking slay as well. So who cares? But I'm just saying for anyone who's considering it or hasn't thought of it and might be being influenced by people who have gotten it, this is just me talking to you. Same with nose jobs. Like I feel like nose jobs should only be in like extreme cases. Now I think every nose is beautiful no matter what, but obviously there there can be extreme cases where you might have your nose might be so much bigger or you might have a very pronounced hook right that might maybe get you bullied maybe people say things to you constantly and it just co it just caused you problems your whole life in that case i'm like it's okay like my, my parents even said to me like if i had like if my nose was really really big they would have let me get one but like all i have is this curve and it's obviously i don't have a small nose but it's not nothing that's that extreme plus i have my grandpa's nose and like and my mom's nose and i just i don't think i want to get rid of that do you know what i mean like that's like my one thing that connects me to people that i just feel like i don't want to get rid of but anyway i feel like in a very extreme, and even then extreme, I think it's still beautiful, so don't think I'm saying, like, anything, like, but I think, like, in extreme cases, like, maybe I can justify it, like, constantly being picked on, it's something that people have commented on your whole life, like, okay, but otherwise, like, and, and even, like, when people get BBLs, like, half the people fucking getting a BBL, you didn't even need to get that shit, you were fine the way you were, the internet made you think that you weren't, I've seen BBLs in extreme, extreme cases where people have had a body type where it is, it's quite extremely, like, the opposite of what BBL is kind of like that sounds bad like nothing wrong with it but it's like very extreme and like I can see once again maybe that being something that people have commented on people have bullied you about and I can be like okay maybe I can justify that but most of the fucking time people getting BBLs are just built like normal people and it, and it's so like why the fuck do you need that you know what I mean sorry Annalise's rant Annalise's breakfast rants like I've got nothing wrong with like minor faces like minor minor things that people get Botox lip filler whatever because it's like it's like not really i don't really see that as like risking your life that much do you know what i mean but it's like things that risk your life things that cost so much money and also things that are not achievable or whatever by everyone else so for example most people at some point in their life can afford to get lips done like a few hundred dollars at some point most people can like you know what i can put money aside at some point not everyone is going to be able to afford a nose job not everyone's going to be able to afford a job not everyone's going to be able to afford a baby in their lifetime in their literal lifetime so they may, may never have enough money to put aside on that so i don't think it's fair that because some people can they get to change their whole appearance and make everyone else feel shit about themselves like it's fucking bullshit do you know what i mean and like that's why even like with boob jobs it's like when it's a mum, you know when she's like you know late 30s early 40s and she gets a boob job it's like you're at that stage where you've got money where it's a potential thing that you could do but there's like 20 year old girls getting boob jobs it's like bro that money should be going towards maybe buying a house that money should be going towards maybe traveling with your friends and getting life experience not spending eight grand on fucking titties like that you like and, and in some cases well people get boob jobs because just say people and, and this i actually had someone message me to say stop disclaiming everything you say just fucking say it and i do disclaim because i get nervous but like 
obviously there are extreme cases where like if someone has like something wrong with their boobs and then has to get things removed and eventually get whatever that's fucking fine but just in general like i'm seeing like influencers who are perfect the way they are and they're just pushing the narrative of as soon as you get money change how you look how you look was never good enough self-love self-love everyone love yourself now that i have enough money i'm changing myself it's fucking bullshit anyways right over i'm gonna make the grilled cheese i don't know if you're supposed to oh. I feel like I'm definitely doing this wrong. That looks so good. I'm not sure if I've done it correctly. Mmm. Right under the stairs. Well, I just one more second down here. Go. Show me how you paint. I want to film. It's freaking freezing down here, bro. Is he paint slow? No, no, don't, 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 don't listen to whatever he says, okay? No, you can't fast this. Sure, sure, okay. <laughs> Just... <laughs> he said that after he's taken 100 years to start. Good job, Alex. So, oh, I was supposed to take that to the op shop. Fuck, I have to go to the op shop. This is 75 centimeters. Look how big that is. Hi. Yeah. That's too big. No, it's not. Yeah, but to lug this around, like... What do you mean lug this around? You're not going backpacking. Every two days in Greece, we're moving to somewhere new. Yeah, so as long as it has wheels. Alright guys, so I'm gonna... I want to know what size suitcase to purchase. Do, like, a rough packing of my Europe outfits. But, like, I don't want a proper pack because I did want to also make a pack, like, an in-depth pack with me YouTube. So my plan is... I want to make an in-depth pack with me YouTube, but I don't want to post it till I'm back because I want to come back and re review it and like be like, all right, guys, this is what I brought and this is what I think I didn't need or what I could have brought. That way, if you're going to look at it as inspiration for like next year or something, that you actually get the full experience because I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never traveled. Okay, guys. New juicy mail. I mean, haul or whatever the fuck, bitch. New bowlers. Wearing this manifested the new bowlers today. So remember I got rid of my dark, I don't know if I fucking posted on here, but I, I sold one of my, there was like one like this, but it was like a darker pink. I sold it because it wasn't really my vibe. This pink is much more me. It's more of like a muted Barbie pink. It's actually very close to this pink, which is more of like my vibe. So absolutely love this and obsessed. Then this bag I've been wanting for ages. They had it in like a different shape ages ago, but this is like the bowler version. And like, this is very me. So I'm obsessed. And also... We got something for my giveaway when we hit 20k. So I wanted to start collecting stuff for the giveaway and I wanted a piece that... I wanted a bag that I know people really wanted. If there was an extra bowler, I was going to get one, but there wasn't. So it's a bit like... But don't worry, I'm going to try and build like a decent... I'm going to try and get some more juicy items why can't i talk i'm gonna get try and get some more juicy items for my giveaway i want my giveaway to have juicy ed hardy hello kitty just all that all the stuff that i love basically in it and stuff that will obviously everyone will be able to use like it won't just be like you know like a clothing item that's one size or something like that so this is the first item that's gonna be my giveaway i'm so excited guys this is rayhan say hey girl hello. We're doing my nails. Look look how comfy I am right now sitting back in this chair. We're doing stiletto, guys. A bit different for me with a nutty color. It's going to be so cunty. We have to get chill, unfortunately. unfortunately. Yeah. Guys, look at this. Okay, I'm going to do my brows. And I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do Alex's eyebrows. Because the wax is so hot, it's melting. So I ripped out a whole chunk that I didn't want to rip out. Ugh. Okay. It didn't even get fucking anything. I don't even know. And that obviously I don't want to rip that out. It's like my actual hair. Ow. That's just mini ones I put on there by accident. Oh. Oh. Oh, so I no longer have a right eyebrow. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. It's gone. 
We have to try and fix this now. It's not letting me grab it. Oh my god, what a fucking throwback. Videos are doing the fireworks like on the 2000s New Year's. Alright, I just um, vacuumed upstairs and I cleaned the upstairs bathrooms. Now I need to go wash my extra things. I feel like my hair is really yellow. I'm gonna have to do like a purple shampoo. Guys, it is so rainy and cold. I'm gonna drop off my packages and get my toes done. Okay, I'm working my way through my list of things to do nicely. So I cleaned the bathroom and I vacuumed upstairs. I dropped off post office things. I have more stuff I do need to drop off, but Josh needs to print stuff for me. So I think I'm gonna make a second trip tomorrow morning. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, today has been so hectic. Okay, the toes are done. My feet are white, so they look like deceased feet. <laughs> I go now. I need to grab a hair clip. I just like scrubbed my whole body, shaved my whole body, shaved my face, everything. So we can go perfect tan by Carol and get a spray tan. My eyebrows are so fucked. Yeah. Okay, guys, so these boxes were at my grandma's house from last year i literally put them there last year like literally i don't even know like last winter no idea what's in here but my brother showed me in the cupboard there was this vest which i thought i'd gotten rid of but i didn't from a winter like two winters ago Let's see if there's anything good in here first of all hell no that's not good oh these jeans from years and years ago yeah, all right. Oh yeah, these staggers jeans. Love these. I was wondering if I had any of these. Pop them in the cupboard. I thought I got rid of these. Such old school vibes. I had this top my mom got me, which is just not my vibe, so bye. Oh my god, this dress. That is way too short. I mean it could work as like a long top so cute i wore it last winter i forgot about it it's ahead of the trends nah that can just get fucking up shop bitch oh it's like a, that this that so fetch top i don't wear turtlenecks anyway god i'm finding so many things that i forgot about leggings with like all this stuff but there's like a hole in them because like my friend burnt me with his freaking cigarette by accident Plain black top that I can get all shocked. Oh, that blue juicy set, which I was freaking looking for. That's good. All that. This is just a keep. I don't know if I should sell this or try and make an outfit out of it with like leggings and fluffy boots. My freaking Sailor Moon outfit. This pink set, I need to sell that. This black dress, I can sell that. Oh my god. My white Hello Kitty tracksuit set. I've got to even own that. Okay guys, so wash my tan off. About to get in bed. Oh my god, my brain is all over the place. Okay, so tomorrow I need to get a lot. I get so confused. I'm just gonna open a little bit of my windows tomorrow. It'll wake up early and get ready because I need to shoot my Reebok X Juicy content stuff. And then after that, I need to literally just. I'm not doing any. I'm not gonna ship any other Depop. Like I'm done. I'm literally just gonna be packing for the Airbnb. So I'll film what I bring. Oh fuck! I gotta turn my light off. How the fuck is it the morning already, bro? Because we're always just in bed ranting. Stop it right now. This is so cute. The shorts are a little big. So I'm going to ask them if they can give me the next size down. But these, this is so freaking cute. I love it. Okay, the photos have been taken. Now I need to edit them and send them to get approved. And then I need to start fucking packing my shit. Guys, look how handsome Alex looks. So cute. Okay, guys, this is this is a Victoria's Secret bag. This is what I'm going to be bringing to the Airbnb for the bridal shower. So, 
different pairs of seamless undies not bridal shower for the wedding because just you never know if something might happen and i might need to switch change my undies so i'm bringing some pajamas for night so we've got these cute <laughs> delia's ones um i just thought i'd bring a cute pair just like because like you know for fun staying on the green theme oh by the way also just have a normal pair of undies for nighttime when it's time to put jumps on. Green theme, I have this Ed Hardy set to wear the next day or tonight. Like I don't know what Sarah, I think Sarah said she has stuff for us to wear the morning of. Like when we're getting ready, maybe I'm guessing like special bridesmaid nightgowns or something, but I'm just bringing this in case. Uh, Sol de Janeiro moisturizer. I don't really use this, but it's cause it like closes nice that I wanted to bring it. Um, this is, can this fit? Okay, I have. Alpha Puff Milano hair serum and then some glow, um, so some Australian glow face uh, tan drops that I'm going to put in my moisturizer after I have a shower tonight just to keep the tan up. And the, the hair lady said to wash our hair tonight and only put a light serum in it. So I'm just going to put this. It's a crystal liquidy, some kind of a serum thing. Inside my toiletries, I have my cleanser, my facial moisturizer and my hyaluronic acid, or is that nine cinnamide? One of the, one of the two just for my skin. I have my normal shampoo and conditioner and my purple shampoo and conditioner. I don't have any body wash. When I'm fake tanned and I want it to last, try to not use body wash. Like I know it sounds bad, but like I try and just rinse with water and like soak the armpits if needed. Like when I'm fake tanned, at least for the first few days, like when I want it to be tanned, like just say I've got a couple of events, I just rinse and rely on scented um, moisturizer. Anyway, love fest burning cherry for Sarah. She wants it as her wedding scent. Then for me, I'm going to be doing a layering vanilla candy rock sugar from Kaali and vanilla cocoa. So it's going to be like, this has got the sugary scent and this has got the more vanilla. I don't really smell the vanilla in this. It's more like sugary. So it's going to be like a vanilla sugar. Two sets of earrings and then another bridesmaid has brought another pair. This is the earrings we're wearing. So I'm going to just bring, before I forget, I'm going to just bring the chargers. And then this is going to like literally die. But let me just make sure there's a card in here. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right, next, I'm going to go. This is my bridesmaid's dress, which we're going to be steaming. Wait, let me go and get a bag. I'm just getting a pair of shoes. Okay, here are my shoes. All right, I just need to get like a silver sparkly bag for my mom. My own lip gloss. Oh my God, I forgot my hair dryer and my hairbrush. Ow. It's like just get a silver bag for my mom and a dress bag for my dress. Guys, all right, we've done cleaning. All my extra stuff of mine is packed down here. And you know, I'm just chilling. I vacuumed all here. Yeah. No, it's at least you're only going to make the bed. Why are you going? That's where I was going. Why are you going to the cupboard? What's in here? Cookies. Okay. Cookies. Yeah, do you want the last one? How about Aki? He already had two. I didn't even have any. This is the setup for my house, guys. So Arthur, um, what's it called? Arthur's. Family or whatever. The groom's side. We're going to come here and the girl's side. So I'm not going to be. I'm kind of got FOMO because I feel like this is going to be fun at, at this house. I feel, it's so cold, but we're going. I'm going. Peace. Guys, my dad is putting the heater on 20. That's like 30 degrees. Because apparently so, he's cold. So cold. I am yeah. overheating, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's for sure. A You've got cold blood. You think I'm a reptilian? Yep, yep. I'm, I'm a warm hearted Guys, if you ever meet my dad somewhere, when you're when he's talking to you, go like. No, don't do that. Don't. You'll do think that you're a reptilian. And if your eyes go like this, it's even worse. Don't do that, he, man. He's serious. I've got issues with that stuff. I'm telling you. Oh my god, they're, they're gonna see me with the flash trying to film. <laughs> Guys, this is the room. Say hey. Here's the bride. Oh my god. Well, it's like so not my aesthetic though, isn't it? It's like, I, I feel like I'm a it's, sore thumb. It's working on mine either, but I'm so it. It's, I'm so, it's so pretty. Wait, let's go look I at the other room. Care. Do a little house tour. Okay, oh, 
You can see yourself. Bitch. No, you're gonna get a damn queen. Oh, that's sharing that. Oh my god, stunning. I've never seen one of these in your room. Dude, what is this? Do you reckon it's like Airbnb so people like on the legs and they come and say, yeah. But surely not just like, for no reason. This is literally where I went to my flat agent. Yeah, she would like the tiles. Yeah. It's not so good in here. This makes no sense why that lady was so nice in the text message to you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was like, why is she so nice? Is there a backyard? Or we'll look at tomorrow at least. Like, this is the world's biggest TV. What the hell? What the hell? Girl, big ass studio. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god, this is not good like Airbnb's I go to in Europe, bro. They don't even decide to be studio. Three people. Oh my god, this is my content space. How do you feel? Oh my god, this is so content space. What is this even for? Like, oh, yeah, this is literally content room. Oh my god, it's giving podcast room. I'm like, buy this house. Oh my god, gorgeous. Oh my god, what? Guys, this place is so cute. We could literally just do. I'm gonna be steaming the dress. This is mine, and this is what Sarah's wearing in the morning. It's so fab. Is it coming out? Is it like even working? Is this stink? I mean, it's air. Okay, there's a little bit of. I saw something coming out, like it was like wet almost, like you know when like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's it's called smoke. But the back of my phone is like soaking wet because it was <laughs> near there. Yay! That is so, guys. From Kmart, if you need a steamer, this one worked. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. That was bad. Do you mind? I don't know if you should buy this. I've just burnt my thumb now. Like. Oh my, how much water? Is it too much water? It isn't. I've tipped it out and everything. Careful, it burns. This is my first time using a dye Okay, guys, I just used the brushing attachment and then I used to dry my head and then I used this. I really like how my hair looks. Don't tell me you're gonna buy dyes. It's the last thing I need to be spending money on. Guys, I literally sat for three hours. I had the most cooked sleep. I need to explain it, okay? First of all, like we were, we were gonna go to bed at like 12.30. I was like, okay, bitch, just trying to fall asleep. And I was cozy in this bed at first. By the way, bitch, this bed is like so narrow. So at first I was cozy in the bed, right? But then it was like, the fucking bed, I felt like I was gripping inside of the bed the whole night, trying not to fall off it. I was just like gripping because it's so like narrow and I'm not used to it. And it was so hard and the pillow was cooked. So like everything, and like the blanket wasn't heavy enough. So everything was like physically a little bit uncomfortable. Then every time I was about to fall asleep, there'd be a gust of wind or a train or a car beep or something loud air that I'm right near this front window that would ricochet into my bloody brain. Ricochet! In my brain, oh, it is. Anyways, and it would wake me up. And then also, like, Sarah was saying too, because she had this, like, every time I was about to fall asleep, I'd the floor and it would wake me up. Because I think, I was like, bro, fuck. And then so I put my brows on, it was helping me put a smile, it was helping me put rain sounds. When I put this blanket around me, and then it felt like it was like a little cabin in a, in a boat. And then I managed to fall asleep for an hour, and then actually. Had this weird alarm go at 4.30. It's funny because the head's not sharing alarm go off at 7.30. It was so kind of like a off. Because um, 
we all had to wake up at 9 a.m. alarm was going off at 7 anyway. She had this weird alarm going off at like 4 30. It was beep, 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 beep. And I wrote it first and let her turn it off. And then it went off again. I was like, Ashley, I'm gonna kill you. And she's like, I swear to God, I've never heard this sound in my life. And I was pissing myself laughing and going to work. And I by the way, my top broke last night. So that was another uncomfortable thing. I feel like I'm wearing a bloody a speedy top. I had to just roll it down so like topless, but was it like down there? It was just cooked. And when I came back in the middle of Ashley's alarm and she turned it off, I was pissing myself laughing. I was like, it sounded like your phone was having a self-destruct button. Because it was this weird as beep. And we were just pissing myself laughing. Never heard nothing what the beep was. Anyways, I finally fell asleep, woke up back again at like 7.15 when our alarm was off, and then I asked, um, we are talking to Sarah about it, and apparently it's like, well, if you have a sleep cycle, if your phone, your phone's on low battery, it'll beep to let you know your phone might die before your alarm gets called. So that's why she'd never heard that beep sound before, she hadn't set the alarm, she couldn't tell what app it was on. So this is a whole other thing. Anyway, now I'm really, really tired, but it doesn't matter, we have to start getting ready. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you having one, Ashley? Yeah, Alright guys, the, the, the uh, what's called ceremony went well. Are well. <laughs> you gonna film your face or are you gonna film your cheek? <laughs> <laughs> it was on my cheek. Whoops. Whoopsie. Um, you Yay. I was like I was like vlogging at the Cute. same time. You should have vlogged. So exhausted. I'm finally home. The wedding was really beautiful. I'm fucking tired. We are running on three hours of sleep. I just. Ugh. Okay, this is annoying me now. It's like done. Get me in bed. Get me in my bed. I've never missed my bed so much in my life. I'm running. Three hours of sleep. I'm running on a weird amount of fuel, like a food. So it's a bit of drinks, but nothing crazy. Guys, today I slept until 12. I need to clean up my room and I need to get my bag of stuff back from yesterday to put it away, to put away, whatever. And then everything is just chilly and waiting for Europe. I'm waiting for my period to do, which is so annoying. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go get food with Josh. This is <laughs> slipping from last night. Ow. Oh, my toe's killing me. I have a big, not a big week plan, but like, even though I'm getting my period tomorrow, I'm gonna get shit done this week. I've written myself a long list of things to do tomorrow, so I'm glad today I didn't really do much other than tidy up my room, have a nice shower, and now I'm going to go get through with Josh and relax and watch a movie or something because we haven't watched a movie in ages and I was in my movie era, so yeah. What the hell? Guys, signing off the vlog, I'm in bed, I got my period early, so tomorrow's enough. I'm just going to not go gym tomorrow. I don't need to tell you guys that because you're going to see next week's vlog. Anyways. Love you guys. See you in next the next video. Peace out. Mwah.